Cleveland's up one run on Boston. It's the bottom of the seventh inning. This breakdown is brought to you by SeatGeek. I was watching the recap of this game, and I thought, that's a bizarre inning. That's a weird inning. I don't see this inning happen a lot, so I figured I'd share it with you guys. It's not a crazy lip reading or crazy ejection. It's just some good old-fashioned baseball. We got a single to lead it off for the Guardians. They're good right now. They're a running team. They run. Reese throws him out, okay? So you got a single, and then you got an out. So the first out came on not a hit. Reese McGuire throws him out. He's feeling great. He tried to swim move him, but the tag got him right in the chest. A single thrown out. Now, Ramirez is up. He's batting lefty. That scares me as always. Slaps that two-strike pitch right up the middle. Now he's on first base. Does he want to run? Yes, always. He's got like an 80% successful stolen base percentage. He's going to be not off on that pitch. That's a ball out to Naylor. That's a ball out to Naylor. Now, he runs on this next pitch. I'll spoil it for you. I was a little surprised because a 2-0 count is usually a fastball count. You usually don't try to steal bases on fastball counts because the catcher gets it quicker. He doesn't care. He's like, nope, I'm going to go. Fastball right down the middle. Goes. Can't come up with the pick. Boots it. Ramirez is now at third base. So that would pad the lead, give him another run. That's not good. So now catcher's feeling bad. The first throw, he got him. Guardian said, bet you can't do it again. They win the bet. Now, with a three and one count, Cora says, let's just walk him. Let's just walk him. There's only one out. He's pretty good. Let's set up the double play. So they walk Naylor to set up the double play. Naylor says, fuck that. I'm going to steal second. Catcher drops the ball. Ramirez comes home, throws it to the pitcher. Naylor's at third. So that backfired. They intentionally walked Naylor to set up the double play to end the inning. Naylor said, I'm going to steal, so you can't do that. And he got way more than he was asking for because Reese McGuire can't transfer the ball, and then he just tosses it to no one. Pitcher's not covering. Bad pop time because the ball fell out. And then he goes to get the ball, and he just looks and tosses it to no one. Ramirez is flying home. Now Naylor's at third base with one out. So instead of intentionally walking the guy in double plays in order, now you got a guy at third. He could score on a sack fly and give them another run. And guess what happens? This ball is hit to right field. It's high. They're camping under it. And it's caught. Naylor tags up. Is he going to score? No. Third out at the plate, which concluded the inning. So the inning went single, caught stealing, single, stolen base plus error to advance the runner, intentional walk, stolen base plus pass ball run scores, inning ending double play. That's a weird one. And I like all the action that happened there. There was a lot of base running and a lot of action. And there was like good play and bad play from both teams. Ultimately, the Red Sox get more of the bad because a run scored. But some bad base running, two outs on the base paths. So that's good defense. And then some some good base running and bad defense. It kind of, kind of. I'm in a whirlwind. It's just, uh, I like it. And if you liked it, you want to see this type of action, SeatGeek got a deal for you. John Boy 10 gets you 10% off any ticket the rest of April. So if your team's in town, you haven't gone to a game yet, John Boy 10 gets you 10% off any ticket, whether you're a new customer, returning customer, doesn't matter. So there you go. That was just a, an inning that I thought that one you don't see a lot. And I shared it with you guys.